O great mystery and wonderful sacrament, the animals could see the newborn Lord lying in a manger. Blessed is the virgin whose womb was worthy to bear, to bear Christ the Lord. Alleluia. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Let us pray. Almighty God, who in the incarnation of your Son has revealed to us the holiness of creation, be pleased to bless and hallow this image of his sacred birth, so that those who gaze upon it may behold the mystery and whereby the humanity shares in your very nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us join in singing, O come, all ye faithful. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light. And we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of this light, so you would shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, have been broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our second reading is a reading from Paul's letter to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passion, and in the present age to live our lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is he who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people, 
To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Last year, with many of you, I had the joy of hearing Pastor Rachel Mankey give a homily for Christmas based on Charles Schulz's Charlie Brown's Christmas. It has come to my attention that I may be one of very few priests that don't have a Charlie Brown Christmas homily. I did a lot of thinking about that this year and wanted to see how I could perhaps put together a homily based on Charlie Brown and came to the conclusion that maybe this year isn't really meant to be about a Charlie Brown Christmas. Instead, I have come to realize that maybe today is more in line with another great Christmas story, that of Dr. Seuss and how the Grinch stole Christmas. For many of us today, it may feel like that is where we're at. Just like those in Whoville who wake up on Christmas morning to discover that all the decorations, all the presents, and even the roast beast has been taken. From the Grinch's perspective, and in his mind, that meant that he had taken Christmas with him. But then only to realize that No matter what the restrictions may be this Christmas, no matter the fact that we have a pandemic going on around us, Christmas has still come. It has come this year without the festivities of Advent. As one person pointed out to me earlier this month, it comes without the Christmas bazaar, the Advent Advent services of lessons and carols, the gatherings, and all that makes Advent so much of a rush and a time of total exhaustion. But even without all that, Christmas still has come. And maybe this year, unlike years past, the depth of the message of Christmas can be more clearly heard. As the Grinch discovered as he was climbing Mount Crumpet and heard the joining of the voices of the Who's down in Whoville, there is something about Christmas that supersedes any form of limitation, any form of pandemic and fear. For Christmas is about one simple message brought to us during the birth of a child in a manger and the words of an angel. Don't be afraid. That seems to be the common message of the angels. 
For when Gabriel comes to Mary to announce that she will have a child, her words to Mary right from the start are, Do not be afraid, for the Lord is with you. Her same greeting goes to Joseph in a dream. Don't be afraid and have confidence in your betrothed. And then to the shepherds who sat guard over their sheep, who had a lot of reason to be on edge as they protected their sheep from the creatures of the night. The message was clear. Do not be afraid. For unto you a child is born, who is Christ the Lord. The message of Christmas is about why we, as a people of God, have no need to fear. For God is with us, who into our darkness and into the depths of our despair, no matter where we may find ourselves, God is there. Psalm 139 tells us, that no matter where we go, to the heights of the mountains or the depths of Sheol, God is there. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, no matter how dire a situation may seem or be, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ. That is the true message of Christmas no matter how dark or dismal it may feel, we have nothing to fear, for God is with us. Perhaps this Christmas is not devoid of a Charlie Brown message. In the midst of Linus Van Pelt telling his story, when he pronounces the words of the angel, fear not, he drops his security blanket. A subtle message to the world that even a small child who holds on to his blanket for dear life to protect him from the world, even he can understand that God is with him and he needs no crutch, not even his security blanket. On this Christmas night or Christmas day, in the midst of a very different Christmas, the words of St. John says it all. The light has come into the darkness, and the darkness shall not overcome it. So even though this Christmas may have come without the parties, perhaps even without all the accoutrement that leads up through Advent of bazaars and concerts, Christmas has still arrived, and its message has remained the same. Do not be afraid, for in it all, God is truly with us. Amen. Let us affirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, almighty maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost and born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of thy birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who liveth and reigneth with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, on this holy night, your Son, our Savior, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home, all who live in poverty, and those supported and blessed by the St. Peter's Community Market. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labor, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, your Christ came as the light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world, and especially those mourning the loss of loved ones this Christmas. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, the, ang the angels sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and most especially in the Holy Land. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in a manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, heaven is come down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that we may be born that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, we pray for all those who have died, especially those listed in the back of the bulletin, in whose memory the flowers and music for tonight have been given. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, on this holy night, angels and shepherds worship at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, and all the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give you most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfadedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness, righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, 
who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Almighty God, who sent his Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season, scatter the darkness of sin, and brighten your heart with the light of his holiness. Amen. May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the good news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. May God, who in the word made flesh, joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you his peace and favor. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us join in singing the first three verses of Joy to the World. <laughs> 